All right, good afternoon and welcome to our 2021 sixth grade graduation. Different as it is, I'm so happy we can be here together. So graduation is a time to celebrate all that students have accomplished, but for this year in particular, we are so proud of all the sixth graders have accomplished this year. This year has been unusual. It's been full of change, and it's been a challenge to our adaptability as we've gone from online learning to face-to-face -to -face and then back to an online learning format again. So, you know, when we go through changes or challenges such as we experienced this year, it can reveal our character. But it's also through our challenges that our character is developed. Former Prime Minister of the UK, Benjamin Disraeli said, there is no education like adversity. It's one thing to experience difficulties, and it's a whole nother one to search for the lessons that the Lord can teach us through them. James chapter one, verses two through four says, consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So I am thankful for a God that can make something beautiful out of un undesirable circumstances. And I'm so proud of our sixth graders that they have pressed on, they've overcome challenges, and they are finishing this school year with success. So congratulations, sixth graders. And now I wanna say to the parents, family, and friends, of our amazing sixth graders. We just wanna express how thankful we are to each one of you for supporting your kids during online learning and also how you've supported us as an elementary staff, especially through your encouragement and from your prayers. So we are so glad that you're here to celebrate with us today. Let's go ahead and open our program with a word of prayer. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we just thank you so much Lord, for this school year, for our sixth graders. Lord, thank you for being with us every step of the way, and that you're always with us no matter what. Lord, I pray for a, a, just a blessing over our sixth graders. I pray that they will feel celebrated today, feel your joy today, recognize all they accomplished. Lord, I do pray just a blessing over this ceremony. I thank you for the family and friends that are here with our sixth graders, those online that are joining through Zoom. Lord, thank you for this community. Lord, we give you this ceremony right now. In Jesus' name, amen.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon, parents. It's so wonderful to be with you today as we celebrate these students and their accomplishments. Every year, I always think about this day. Almost every day, I think about this day when we as an elementary staff will be releasing you from the elementary to move on to greater things, hopefully. And uh, I just want to say personally that today I just want to talk to you from my own heart. I love each and every one of you. I am proud of your accomplishments. And if you think back to all of your elementary days, all the things that you have learned over the last several years, you've learned to color in between the lines. You've learned to write your ABCs. You've learned to count one, two, and three. You've learned to put sentences together. You've learned what a noun is, and a verb, and a pronoun, predicate nominative. You've learned to add and subtract, and multiply and divide, and learn what mode, median is. So you've learned a lot, and all of these things are tools that will be used in your life in many, many different ways. And as I think about you students and I think about you parents, I want to speak to both of you this afternoon. One of the things that I'm reminded of as I look at you is what a blessing you are. The Bible speaks a lot about blessings. It's an interesting word and there's a lot of different parts to that word. But one of the main parts of that word is happiness, to be happy. And I want to remind you parents and you students what is said in the book of Psalms when it comes to children. Did you know that children are a blessing of the Lord? Specifically, parents, they're your blessing. In Psalms 127, it says, Behold, children are a gift of the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward, like arrows in the hand of a warrior. So are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man whose quiver is full of them. So parents, as you look at your sons and daughters today, recognize the fact that these students, these children, are a direct gift of God to you. You are the warrior in this passage of Scripture. They are the arrows. Each child will one day in the process of time be a defense and a support to the family. The, anal the analogy here is that the parents are the archers. The arrows do not shoot itself. It is shot by the skillful hands of the archer. We spend a good part of our time as parents, a good por portion of our life making a true arrow. We raise our children, teaching them right from wrong and the godly values that we would like to see instilled in them. You've spent many, many years preparing the arrow. And though it may be tough, one day, that this arrow is going to leave your hands and it's going to fly on its own. The question is, will the arrow hit the mark that you have set for them? Today is part of that process. This graduation is part of this process. You are the archers and they are your arrows. Your child is a blessing, a gift from God. Think about it for a second. Second, Think about the tremendous responsibility that God has given to you. In the Old Testament, Moses stood before the nation of Israel. God had just given his laws, his commands, and his statutes. In Deuteronomy, God says, this is what I want to, you to tell the people. He says, Tell them to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and all your strength. 
Take to heart these words that I give you today. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you're at home or away. When you lie down or you get up, write them down and tie them around your wrist and wear them as headbands as a reminder. Write them on the door frames of your houses and on your gates. In essence, keep molding your arrow. Do not ever give up on the arrow. It is your gift from God, your special blessing from Him. Students, today you are closing the door on your time here in elementary. And are now, op- God is opening another door to you in a much different place in middle school. Life is going to be much different there. Teachers are not going to be so fatherly and motherly. You're not going to have Miss Pam protecting you. The workload is going to be much heavier. There's going to be more responsibility. Peer pressures. No more recess. There's going to be Mr. Tebby, if you haven't heard of him. There's going to be Mrs. Proud. There's going to be problems with your friends, problems with your parents, problems in your family. How will you succeed next year and the year after and for the rest of your lives? We don't know what the future holds. Who would have thought this year would have turned out the way it has? But no matter what comes our way, I want you to always remember this promise from the Lord. It's found in Jeremiah chapter 17. It says, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in Him. They will be like a tree planted by the water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes. Its leaves are always green. It has no worries if a drought comes. It never fails to bear fruit. Jeremiah paints a beautiful picture of the blessed life the one lived in the will of God. He employs the image of a tree to help us see this magnificent picture. Students, all year long, you, you have been studying about the very maker of the tree and the river mentioned in this passage. The one who gives life. The one who redeemed us from our sin. Who paid our ransom with his very own blood on the cross. From his throne flows the river of life. Be planted near him. Let your roots sink deep. Be established, thoroughly grounded, and may your foundation of your whole life be resting on Jesus Christ. Put your trust and confidence in him no matter what happens in this life. His stream will never dry up. Yes, he was rejected once, but the stone which the builders rejected, has become the chief cornerstone. This was the Lord's doing, not man's. And it was marvelous in our eyes. May He be the river and the cornerstone of your life. So you won't have to fear about tomorrow. And if the heat and drought come, you don't have to worry. You will never fail to blossom and bear fruit in your life if your roots go to his stream. Bear fruit for the Lord wherever you are. This week, 
or next week, I have an arrow that I personally am releasing into this world. For 18 years, I've been preparing this arrow to be released. And as parents, it's not easy. It's not easy to release the arrow. My only prayer is that my son hits the mark. He hits the mark. One of the things I'm reminded, you guys are still in the process of being drawn back. Parents, don't loosen the grip as they enter middle school. It's pretty interesting if you're an archer, as you pull that arrow back, the tighter the grip has to be, the more focused you have to be as a warrior. So the arrow hits the mark. And if you release your hands now and you let your child do whatever he wants, he's going to miss the mark. Don't make that mistake. In just a few, year, few years, you will be releasing the arrow. It's going to come quick. Do your job. Students, listen to your parents. Obey them. Trust their words. They are the mighty warriors mentioned in this passage. Be planted like the tree next to the river and bear great fruit for the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever circumstances you face each day, know that you are never alone. Know that you are standing strong, filled with hope and confidence, just like the tree planted along a river blank. In closing, I want to read a benediction for you found in the Old Testament. If you watched the chapel service last, this past week, you heard it sung. And I want to say it for you once again. May the Lord bless you and keep you May the Lord make His face shine upon you. Be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace. I love you guys. I'm going to continue to pray as long as the rest of the staff here are going to continue to pray. And we expect great and mighty things for our Lord through you. Amen. Sixth graders, is it on? Sixth graders, will you please rise to receive your diplomas? Josie Adendra, Alvedo Banunamno. Kara Goth. Si Wan Kim (laughs) 
Anhak Lee. Femi Lim. Shara Park. Valerie, uh, Siwan Song, <laughs> sorry. Valerie Tan. Vanessa Tan. We have several students who aren't a weren't able to be here in person today because they're out of the country. Poor Huck Ju, it's two o'clock in the morning for him. Um, um, but please join me in celebrating Gunha Kim. Raise, raise your hand. <laughs> ha Jin Kim. Che A Lee. And Huck Ju Yoon. Congratulations, guys. You can get your diploma when you get back, okay? <laughs> Sixth graders, will you please stand? May I present to you the Mountain View Christian School sixth grade graduating class of 2021. You may. We're going to, Mr. Um, Leverett is going to close in prayer, but first your graduates are going to come stand by you so you can um, surround them as a family and pray for them um, with Mr. L. What a memorable year this has been. Please join me in praying for your graduate. 
Heavenly Father, we do um, thank you and praise you uh, for each one of these students. Um, each one it has been a gift given to us as teachers and to their parents and siblings um, as a family. Lord, we dedicate them to you. Lord, it's our prayer that they acknowledge you as their God and their Savior, that they would continue to grow in their faith as they trust in you. Lord, that you will make their path straight and that their confidence will come from you, Lord. May they bear fruit uh, for you um, and may you receive the honor and glory for all that they do. We pray this in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen. We have some um, cupcakes and water that you can feel free to take with you. You can um, stay and visit as much as you're comfortable, um, you know, with social distancing and, and COVID running around. But, um, and then uh, the, the students also have a gift from the teachers, a secondary survival kit that we put together for them. But before they take off their gowns, we'd like the sixth graders to come back so we can get one final class picture of you in your graduation gowns, okay? And then we'll release you to be secondary students. <laughs> you. So quickly come down so we can get a few pictures. Oh, yes. <laughs>